Pacific leatherback turtles are the largest turtles worldwide. They are critically endangered and have experienced major declines in population numbers over the last decade. The large decline in population numbers is thought to be a result of exploitation, egg harvesting, incidental captures and climate changes. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, defines a species as critically endangered if the species is facing an extremely high risk of extinction in the wild. The IUCN also ranks conservation priorities based upon three categories, low risk, medium risk or high risk. This figure shows the examination and assessment process to determine threat levels and therefore helps to identify what action needs to be taken. As the leatherback turtle is listed as critically endangered, conservation groups and governments are likely to interpret this as a need for greater conservation. Increasing numbers of wildlife species are becoming endangered due to human impacts such as overharvesting, pollution and habitat destruction. Fisheries bycatch and coastal development are ranked amongst the highest hazards to sea turtles. Incidental catch and bycatch affects large juvenile and adult stages of life which can largely affect population dynamics. Coastal development is also a hazard to sea turtles. Human-induced alteration of coastlines such as development for tourism industries and beach alterations pose high risk to sea turtles. These developments also impact upon hatching success through nest predation. This graph shows the annual nesting population growth and decline rates for female leatherback turtles. Pollution can affect the morphology, behaviour and physiology of a species by impacting on signalling and sexual ornamentation. Marine pollution can cause turtles to become entangled and plastics can become ingested. Young turtles fill their stomachs with plastics mistaken for jellyfish and other food and become so buoyant they cannot die for food and eventually starve. Endangered species populations are vulnerable due to loss of genetic diversity as a result of a decline or fluctuation in population size. This can result in reduced gene flow among populations, genetic drift and inbreeding. Habitat loss will affect a species endemic to each biome. Elimination of whole taxonomic groups can occur in some cases, impoverishing exploration of behavioural diversity. Rising sea levels are of particular concern to many species, including the leatherback turtle. As the sea level rises, beaches become smaller, leaving little room for potential nesting sites. Due to the leatherback's life history characteristics, they do not respond to management interventions easily. Characterising the extinction risk based upon thresholds and changes in population abundance over a three generation time period will allow us to interpret changes in population numbers over time and therefore highlight where our biggest conservation priorities lie. By reducing bycatch incidents, incorporating fisheries management procedures such as allocating fishing exclusion sites and preventing interactions with pelagic longlines, the leatherback turtle will thrive in a safer and harm-free environment. By using satellite telemetry data, the leatherback's migration patterns have been able to be tracked and monitored. This map shows the movement patterns and distribution of the leatherback in the Pacific Ocean. This is important as it allows us to understand the behavioural patterns of the leatherback as it migrates through the oceans, establishing that such a great migratory corridor may reflect distribution patterns of marine sources. Mediterranean Association to Save the Sea Turtle rationalises and updates conservation requirements for turtles. Metaset also assesses and advises upon considered priorities to all funding and involved bodies associated with turtle conservation. The Marine Mammal Protection Act is fundamental in modelling and evaluating population persistence and resilience to anthropogenic mortalities. The principle of evaluating population strength of the leatherback turtle will assist in its conservation. By understanding the ecological requirements of the leatherback turtle and the effects of invasive species, it will become easier in planning and prioritising conservation strategies. The integration of processes that connect realms to maintain biodiversity elements and cross-realm habitats in conservation planning will result in more efficient and effective conservation actions and better use of limited conservation resources. Overall, the leatherback turtle still remains one of the most endangered marine turtles worldwide and conservation strategies and priorities must be placed in order to improve this species' abundance around the world.